guys, today a fan has challenged your boy to a build battle, so we're gonna hop on in, do a build battle, it's been a long time, I'm pretty excited, make sure to drop a like on the video, I never ask at the beginning, and I just wanna see if it'll help. Let's make this a little bit bigger, we got this guy, he starts out acting like a hater, because people think that's the only way I will accept their build battle, and uh, you know, called me a stinky head poopy face. Awesome. That's that's fantastic. Anyways, almost a year ago you did a rating fan builds, and guess what you rated mine? A five. I want revenge for that day, 1v1 me bozo, or you're scared, loser, still acting like a hater, but then a bit switched. He said, I'm actually an okay-ish low poly builder, and I think it'd be a fun challenge for both of us. So I had to hit him with it. Your boy said, theme, portal, time limit, 24 hours. Send me your build when you're done and good luck. He said no way, and then we got rid of the 200 by 200 rule we're just doing a portal build battle and time limit of 24 hours anyways let's get into it now i think to start things off i'm actually gonna go in blender and build mostly everything and uh, i just think that'll give me a bit of an edge because i'm not sure if he is a builder or an, a modeler as well he said an okay-ish low poly builder so probably knows a little bit of modeling anyways let's hop into blender and get started on this portal scene so i guess to start things off we'll delete the light in the camera and then just make a simple shape sort of a block out if you will of our total um portal shape i think we'll start by let's see the x-axis sx we're gonna scale this out to i'd say about here maybe just a little bit more no i think i like it here i can't even lie we're gonna bring it out on the y-axis a little as well just like that looks like a pretty good platform to start and then we're gonna put the portal on top of this platform i think the uh the actual normal cube size is pretty cool for one side maybe scale it down a little bit and then on the other side make it thinner just a little bit kind of weird but i think it'll be cool i also do think i made the uh the base a little bit too like big all right now i'm just gonna take these shapes make them a little weird a little different each time i go up and over and i'll connect them and sort of a portal shape and see what we end up with all right so i got a pretty simple block out done for this uh portal part i guess and i'm gonna group everything that i think needs to go together for texture wise let's do this and i also have this plugin called one click damage and i think it would be pretty cool to try on some of this stuff so we're gonna start with this top one and if we go to right here make damage as you can see it's uh a bit yikes right now but i think it's because i used a mirror modifier let's cancel that and try to do it on a normal block yeah there we go now it actually works so we'll scale this down and as you can see it just adds a cool effect on all of this it looks really 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 nice and just a little more worn and weathered we're gonna go ahead and apply that perfect and uh we may have to remake this uh i don't think we can i don't think we can use the uh the one click damage since we used a mirror modifier earlier but if we click on this just like that guys damage and you can edit all of this as well let's say we want clouds uh it's a bit softer of something i do want to keep with uh voronoi just because i think it looks the best for what i'm trying to do let's apply that as well and then apply it down here and i'm gonna do that throughout the whole build just to give it a bit more weathered of a look and uh, take it up just a little notch also i think next i'm gonna build a few pillars uh some steps just more like prop stuff that we can put around the scene once we get into roblox studio so with the stairs made and a couple props placed around we're gonna go ahead and do the one click damage to everything else and then i think we're gonna start building sort of a gate around this like a, a round gate that would go around like this and then we're gonna add like some tree roots maybe some sort of foliage i'm not sure i might just take that from a different project i've done in the past uh i don't know but for now one click damage it is make damage um i mean that looks okay let's let's scale the amount back put the scale up a little bit all right i think something like that looks pretty good for this one so i'll go ahead and apply and i'm just gonna one click damage the rest of these and the thing that's so cool about this is even though these are the same object just scale up and down they all get a different damage on them like this one is not the same as either or any of these which is just super super cool and very helpful when you're trying to make just some uh some very randomized stuff and of course in the real world none of this damage would uh would look the same on either of its objects anyways let's go ahead and apply this let's make it on these steps as well oh that one's actually really nice i like that a lot and then last but not least we're gonna make some damage on this 
Uh, should we add a little bit to it though? Like let's scale this out. Yeah, then we'll make damage. Not bad. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with it. Shade smooth, of course. And honestly, guys, this is looking pretty cool already. I think I want to move these closer to each other in the center, something like this. And then I want to add on some spikes. For those, we're going to go ahead and use a cylinder. We could bump this down to probably about 10 sides. We're going to go 12 just to keep it real nice. Shade smooth, normals, auto smooth, of course. And uh, let's, let's bump that up a little bit. Now we'll scale this down probably to about here. S and Z to scale it this way. And then at the top of these, we're going to grab that face and make sort of an upside down diamond. So we'll extrude, scale, and then extrude, scale. Now we have a cool little spike on the top. I do think it'd be pretty cool to have this uh, go a little more narrow towards the top so it's not so straight. Something like that. I think that looks a lot better. And then let's scale this down on the Z axis, kind of squish it and bring it up for a more like fun look, a little more stylized, I guess. I think we'll do four of these. That looks pretty good to me. And then the two in the middle, we're going to go ahead and drag up a little bit. Something like that. I think that looks really cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and make these uh, little barrier walls around it. We're going to save foliage for when we're inside studio because I am just going to rip something from one of my old projects. And uh, I think maybe we'll do some stone on the ground as well. I'm not sure. I definitely know I want to do like all the tree root type things to make it just feel older and more like overgrown. say honestly so far so good i'm pretty happy with how this is turning out i did do a few lazy things like take these uh these little guys and then i just like shrunk them like made those the rock path but uh you know we don't have to talk about that also added some cool particles and i was thinking this is a this is a portal what are we missing guys uh, the portal i literally didn't make the portal so we're gonna go in blender i've made a bunch of videos doing the same tactic i'm about to do or we'll, we'll, we'll just hop so obviously I want mine pretty much in the middle. I'll put it right here. And now we're just gonna keep messing around with more settings until we get the desired look. And then uh, we're gonna have to have our boy the decimate modifier come in because there's no shot that this is gonna make it into Roblox. All right, so after playing around with the texture and the modifier a little bit, I've made it look like this. I thought it would look a little more majestic, magical uh, than the normal rings. This one's just a ring noise instead of the normal rings. And uh, as you can see, if we tab into edit mode, this is uh, 40. 9,000 triangles. So we're going to go to our modifiers and have some decimates and I'm just going to stack 0.5 decimate modders. So we're going to go right there. Now it is at uh, 24,000. Now this doesn't need to be the, uh, the most optimized build by any means because it's not really getting released anywhere. Now we're at 12,000. We need it to be to 10,000 to get onto Roblox. So we don't need to go another 0.5, probably a 0.8 and that should put us right where we need to be. Yeah, now it's 9,800.
800 tries. So we can get it into Roblox. If we shade smooth, that will get rid of a lot of that ugly decimate stuff. Uh, you know, we have a little bit of shading issues, but once we turn it like colors probably in studio, we'll see. So without further ado, let's take it to studio. And uh, that should pretty much complete our scene. Also, the builder who challenged me just sent his over as well. So we're gonna hop into that and then we'll send our game link to him so he can check ours out. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. I have definitely seen worse. Anyways, let's get this where it needs to be. Right about there is the middle. Scale this down from the top. And now we're just gonna kind of fit it with inside here. Something like that is looking pretty cool. I think I'm gonna copy the water. Uh, the water color should be pretty good. There we go. Now making this neon will take, uh, take a lot of its like details away. I'll show you guys what I mean. It's still cool, but it definitely takes away a little bit of that waviness. So we are gonna have it as neon, but we're gonna duplicate it, put one a little bit further behind it, and then this one, we're going to bring its transparency down. Something like that. Now we still have all of our rings. We can see them pretty good. And we have this cool like glow effect, like it's projecting light. Another thing that we're gonna do, if our game wants to work, uh, insert object. There we go, it's finally working. And we're gonna put a light in it. We're gonna do a point light, I think. And we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Whoa, not that big, pause. Perfect, and now let's make it blue. And we'll bring the range up just a little bit and the brightness. There we go. Now we're getting a really cool, like magic type vibe from this. I'm liking it. Now the last thing we're gonna do is duplicate everything, rotate it around. We'll put one over here. And I wanna make the teleporter teleporter work. So let's uh, double side these just because we can. And I basically wanna make it work. So when you step here, you'll teleport to the other one. Uh, I should make a note that I am most definitely getting a free model teleporter and then just making it invisible right where that one goes because your boy is not a programmer. Let's put the spawn pad right down here. Perfect. And then let's make sure everything is anchored. Awesome. Now let's test. I haven't put the uh, teleporter thing in yet. I just want to make sure you can walk around and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, dude. And then you have this blue light on your character. All right, let's go ahead, make these teleporters work and then check out the fans game. All right, guys, we now have working teleporters and everything like that. There is one more thing that I think I want to do. Not a solid black sky box. I think this would look a lot more majestic if we just did a very like night, nighttime. So let's kind of move that down. And now we still have some clouds, some stars. I think it just looks a lot better than the solid black. Now I will change our outdoor ambient, bring that up a little bit to keep some nice light when you're actually in the game. Let's click, unclick our celestial body dragger. And then all of this stuff, we could kind of just change up a little bit. I think that looks pretty cool, but that is my uh my scene for our build battle so let's go hop into his game link check it out and then we're gonna send him our game link and see what he thinks here we are guys portal theme role builder i tried role builder i learned how to build from watching your vids and you always make my day see guys he's not a toxic hater man he's a wholesome fan i appreciate it but let's hop on in and see if he is what he says an okay ish low poly builder let's check it out and i love role build bro that stop you're just ego boosting me okay so what do we got going on here we have a uh, a circle spawn pad we have some pillars in uh pillars okay and we're in a cave it looks like now i don't want to dog this build too much but i was expecting a little bit more or i don't even think it's that i was expecting more uh our theme was portal and yes you do have a portal but it looks like you focused a little bit more on making a cave than making a portal but he said go through through it he has something special so let's see awesome awesome that's great we did get teleported to a new map uh and it's a forest i do think there should have been a little bit more emphasis on the portal itself uh if we have such a specific build battle theme what is all this written on the wall i will try to get up in this tree oh oh no okay come on my, my parkour skills are okay can i just climb it nope who knew this is why row builder doesn't play obstacle course games okay row builder i love you and your vids they they always make my days better. I wish I was able to put more time into this map, but I had things come up. I know it's not the best, but I hope to get better at building from watching uh, from watching you. Thank you. Man, that's so wholesome. Like, it's not bad. Uh, I do feel like you didn't focus on our theme, but um, okay. Can I, I just want to get back to the, please, <laughs> please let, okay. I do think it's not like horrible and you're, uh, you're saying
saying I'm an okay-ish uh, low-poly builder? You are, man. I think sizing, definitely something you need to work on because, I mean, bro, these are these are massive. It's just like a weird, like, a weird balance of size. But uh, you did leave me a really nice message on the wall. So before I link you or him, depending how you guys are watching this, before I link him my game, I'm gonna leave him a nice message after you teleport through our portal. All right, guys, so we're loading into the place right now. Here's where you spawn in at. And uh, it looks, I think it looks pretty cool, honestly. Maybe I should put a black wall in between these so you can't see the other one. And I don't think you'd really be able to see the black wall either. So we'll probably do that. But here is my portal scene or submission for the build battle. And when you go through, it's the same thing, just flipped over. And I gave the dude a message. Hey, really enjoyed the time you put into your map. This was a fun experience. Keep up the hard work. Map looks great. Never give up on those dreams. They'll take you far. So end this off on a little, uh, a little nice note, some, some dream chaser note. I'm going to go ahead and add that black wall in the middle, send the link to him and get his reaction. All right, guys, we just got a message back after he checked out the game and he said, dang, I didn't know you could build stuff like this. I just see your, your, your like sim maps. Listen, man, when people make typos on top with my dyslexia, bro, I can't read it at all, but I just see your sim maps. I just hit my hand. Ah, and this stuff is really good. The textures make it a thousand times better. I got to learn how to do that. Dang, yeah, this is nice. The portal looks super good. Nice detail on stuff. And thanks for the message at the end. My dream is to make my very own game and maybe become a YouTuber like you. It was a pleasure. So much fun. Now, guys, uh, once he sees this video, he's going to be like, wait, he just used Roblox textures. He cheated. Yeah, guys, there's literally just a texture on every side of this. And it, it's kind of a cheat code. I'm not going to lie. And it wouldn't really work well for huge builds, but this I'll take the cheat code. Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.